A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. A phantom figure of the plains rode the trails of long ago to bring justice to the oppressed. Where he came from, no one ever knew. But his heroic deeds were recorded in the memories of the people of seven states. Even today, the cowboys sit around the campfire and relate yarns of his daring, of his speed on the draw when he meted out punishment to the lawless, of his great horse, Silver, the fastest the West has ever known. History does not record his many adventures, but the West will always remember the shout which has come down through the years. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver, old boy. That's it, old fellow. Town is waiting for us on the trail ahead. We have to hurry, old boy, or we may be too late. Hurry, old Silver. Strange things had happened to the stages that covered the trail between Pine River and Calhoun. Twice within the past month, death had struck mysteriously at both driver and guard. On each occasion, the stage had been brought into town by the unguided horses. Ben Sawtell, district superintendent of the line, found himself helpless to solve the crimes. In the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger drama, we see him in his office with the sheriff, Jack Beardsley. The superintendent is speaking of the deaths. Sure, they could have died by a bad heart or something, Sheriff. I might believe that if one of them had come in dead, but not with all four of them. Yeah, I guess you're right, Ben. Them boys must have been murdered. There ain't no two ways about that. Murdered so the stage can be robbed. Been robbed, then? Both times. Well, I thought there was a sizable load of stuff when the stage come in. And so there was. The male sex was filled most overflowing. And the rest of the things was as they should be. All but for one thing. What's that? The mail had been pawed over and handled. For what? To steal the mail that looked like it might have money in it, I guess. Oh, I see. I checked the mail mighty careful when I had the chance, Sheriff, and seen that it was different than usual. That's why I say the killers had gone through it. Figuring the thieving wouldn't be discovered at all, huh? Sure. Hmm. Who's that skinny-looking kid stopping outside there? Hmm. I don't know. Never seen him before. Mr. Sawtell? That's me. Who are you and what do you want here? Oh, my name's Barrett. Peter Barrett. You don't like uh, look like you've been eating regular, kid. Oh, I ain't complaining none. Where are you from? Kansas. They call me the Kansas kid over at Pine River, where I've been till now. Pine River. You come along the trail from that of here? Yep. Mm-hmm. Bad country, ain't it? Pretty open country, but not much water. Lack of water and the sun is what makes it tough going over that stretch. Yeah, there ain't but one water hole in the stretch that I know of. That's all there is. Well, get to the point. What do you want to see me for? I'm a stage driver. What? You? <laughs> and I'm a full-blooded Cherokee doing a war dance. <laughs> you, you done laughing? By Thunder Sawtell, he's plumb serious about it. The Kansas kid, eh? Stage driver. I, well, I, I heard that you was needing us some drivers, so I rid over here. On that stove-in Mexican plug that's out front? Yes, sir. Well, I, I need a job powerful bad, Mr. Sawtell. If you'd give me a chance, I'd know... Are you? 18. I'd never believe it. You got the size and weight of a 14-year-old, and not a husky one at that. Oh, I'm 18, and I can handle a six in hand. If you'd give me a chance to prove Look it, here, I know... Look here, Bert. The Kansas kid, being as that's what they called you. 
We need men to handle the stages. Doggone husky ones at that. You heard what's been taking place along the route? Yes, sir. And want the job in spite of it? Yes, sir. You make up and spunk what you lack in weight, don't you? I'll bring the horses through, Mr. Sartell. And when I get here to Calhoun, I'll be driving them. They won't be pulling the corpse like they've done in the past. Maybe the kid knows something, Ben. What do you mean, Sheriff? Let me talk to him. Come here, kid. Yes, sir. You say you can handle a six and a half. Yes, sir. Where'd you ever do it? Well, I, uh, uh that is, Did I... Did you ever I, try? I... I I can handle them, honest I can. Well, granting that you can. What makes you think you'll come through alive where big men toting rifles and guns and used to all sorts of things on the stage trail comes in dead? Oh, I can't answer you. Can't answer? Why can't you? Well, I... I I just can't, that's all. Look here, Mr. Sawtell. Just give me a try, won't you? Let me have just one chance. You ain't nothing to lose. Nothing but six good horses and a stage and cargo. No, I'll handle the stage alone before I let you take it. It's... Is that all you got to say, then? That's all. Except in this. I'm busy. I ain't the time to palaver with a half-growed towhead that calls himself the Kansas Kid. So, Vamoose. Well, wh- wh- where to? Gee, hoss of head, I don't care where to. Just Vamoose, that's all. Well, my horse can't do no more traveling. I've got to stay in Calhoun. Then stay in Calhoun, Dretcher. I know cash to eat with. If you don't give me a job, I'll... Well, I'll, I'll just have to starve, and then you'll have a burying to tend to. By thunder, I never seen the like of you. While I have a bearing to tend to, why should I be the one to put you to work? Because I wouldn't work nowhere else. Well, of all, if you won't work nowhere else, then blast you, go and starve. I don't give a hang, I... What is you gonna say? What'd you say your name was? Pete Barrett, but you can put it on the payroll, the Kansas kid. Look here, Sheriff, what am I to do with him? Dread it, I'll lay awake nights thinking of him starving if I don't give him a job. Here, you, take that broom and sweep this office up. Hang around and make yourself useful somehow. What about driving a stage? No. Then I'll then I'll hang around and, and, and make myself useful till all the other drivers are killed off. Then I'll... Maybe I'll get my chance. Start sweeping. Don't get under my feet or I'll likely step on you. Hotel. I wonder if that kid does know something. Mm, it ain't likely. He's the most peculiar acting cuss i ever seen. I can't make him out. He's likely catching the head. <laughs> Imagine crossing that prairie land between Pine River and here on that no-account horse. <laughs> the critter almost has to lean against the hitch rack to keep him falling over. Come on outside, Ben. For what? Something to say. Shut that door. Maybe I'm loco, but I got a hunch. Yeah? Keep an eye on that kid. Why? He was awful determined to get work here, wasn't he? he beat all I ever seen. He knowed you wouldn't trust him with a stage, but he figured he might get another job. Hmm. For what? Maybe just to hang around the office. Step around the side here. Let's look through the window. Somehow I got a notion the Kansas kids tied up with the mysterious murders and robberies. Yes. Here, take a look. What's he doing? He's at my desk. Pawing through it. Why, darn, I told you so, Ben. He's found something. What's that book? The schedule. It shows when the stage is due to leave the Pine River station and when it's due to get here. Yes, so. One is on the way here now from Pine River. The next one ain't leaving there till next week. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, don't let the kid know you suspicion anything, but watch him sharp. Beg pardon, gentlemen, peeking in your own window. Huh? Hi, Sheriff. Steady, Sheriff. You're both covered. A mask, man. Put them guns down, surrender in the name of the law. If I intended to surrender, I wouldn't have come here. Who are you? What do you want? I'm here for information. What sort of information? What's that mask for? I'm not answering your question, Sheriff. I'm here to find out the schedule of the stages. What? So... You're the mysterious killer, huh? You think that whether I deny it or not, so there's no use denying it. Then you admit it. No, I don't, Sheriff. I came here to ask a simple question. You give that information to anyone who wants to buy a fare on the stage. Why can't you give it to me? Because we... we, Your mask. That's the reason I have to keep my guns handy. How'd you get here so quiet? You were absorbed in watching through that window. You didn't hear my approach. When does the next stage leave Pine River? I ain't giving out no information. Don't you want to solve the murders? Well, I... He got him. Who's the redskin? Did you find out what we wanted, Tonto? Uh, here, your horse, Silver. Yeah. All right, Tonto. That's all we need. Hey, don't you leave here. You're under arrest. I know, Silver! Stop, oh, stop them! Two. Shoot him, shoot him, Sheriff! You missed! Fire again! Oh, it ain't no use shooting at grease lightning. Gosh, 
What what horses them two has? And what the Redskin do? He come into your office and he forced me to look through the schedule book. The same book you was looking through, How, huh? How'd you know? We seen you. Yeah, and you got a plenty things to explain, Pete Kansas Kid Barrett. Mm, see what they done, Sheriff? The masked man kept us here while the Redskin went inside. I know, we've been tricked. And it's too late to change the schedule. The stages will start from Pine River. One's most here already. And the other will start before we can get a man and a warning. Anyhow, we know two of the men that's behind the murders. Even if we don't know how they done it. And maybe a third. Yeah. You're going to the calaboose, kid. No. No, you can't lock me up. I gotta be free. I expect you have to help rob the stages and kill the drivers. But you're going to jail all the same. Please, you don't savvy. You don't understand. I... We savvy all we need to savvy. You're going to jail and starve till you tell all you know about the mystery of the stage trail. Here comes the stage from Pine River. I got to tend to things. I'll well, just put these handcuffs on you, kid, and hold you to the hitch rack till I'm ready to jail you. Sheriff, there's passengers on this trip. Look, there's a man and woman getting out of the stage. Sure enough. Please, please don't, Sheriff. That'll hold you for a while. Come on, let's see what's up, Ben. Right. Sheriff, please don't leave me handcuffed. You can't do this. You can't, I tell you. Let me go. Let me I'll go. go ask the garden driver a few questions about the trip, Ben. Yeah. Same you tend to the horse as the mail. I'm going inside the office and see the passengers. All right, Mr. Sawtell. Howdy. My name's Sawtell. I'm in charge of the office here. My sakes, what a dusty trip we've had. We certainly have. My name is Lickett, Mr. Sawtell. John Lickett. This is my wife. I'm sure enough glad to know you, Mr. Lickett. Howdy, Mrs. Lickett. If we were going on much further, I'd have a complaint to make about your drivers. What's that, Mrs. Lickett? The last half of the trip, it seemed as if the driver picked every bumpy spot and stone in the trail to go over... I've never been so shaken in all my life. Certainly a rough trip. I suppose we should be grateful, though, that we're here alive. I hear there's been a lot of things happening on your line, Mr. Sawtell. Sure enough, has. I declare it's a relief to see this stage come through safe and sound. We've had a sight of trouble lately. I heard about it. Wasn't no trouble this trip, was there, Mr. Liggett? No, not a bit. Came right through without any trouble. No one stopped the stage or asked any questions? We didn't see a sign of anybody. Not a soul all the way from Pine River here. I don't understand you complaining about the driver. He's one of the best men we got. He can handle horses like no one I ever seen. I want to ask them folks some questions, Ben. I reckon they'll be glad to answer, Sheriff. What happened on the trip? Nothing. Not a thing. Come on, speak up. Who stopped the stage? What's happened, Sheriff? Answer my question. Who stopped the stage? No one. I'll swear to that. We didn't see a sign of anyone. Who got at the guard and driver? No one. There wasn't any way possible for anyone to get at them. What's the matter? Sheriff, what's happened? So there ain't no way for anyone to have got to Bixby. Well, the fact remains, him and the guard are dead. Right now. The curtain falls on the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now on with our story. We learned in the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger drama that the stage line between Pine River and Calhoun had been attacked. Three drivers and three guards had been killed, but no clue left behind which would explain the murders. Two passengers, a man by the name of Liggett and his wife, had been on the stage at the time of the last attack. But though they'd been present when the tragedy occurred, they could offer no explanation to account for it. We return now to the office of Ben Sawtell, manager of the stage line. Sheriff Beardsley has been questioning the Liggetts for more than an hour, but with no result. Well, that's all you can tell. We've told you the truth, Sheriff. You left Pine River with everyone in good shape, and you didn't see no one on the way here. Not a soul. We didn't even stop, except for the men to fill their canteens with water. My wife means the guard and driver. No one could have shot them from ambush. Sheriff, you know blame well there ain't no signs of shooting. That's so. 
I don't see how the stage could be brought here with both those men dead. The horses know the way as well as the men do. Hmm. What do you folks come here for? Was you aiming to hit on West? No. Not unless we had to. We're looking for our son. Your son? Yeah. He, uh... Well, he ran away from home. We think he came this way. He said nothing about it before. You didn't give us a chance? You were too blame busy trying to accuse us of murdering those two men. Have you seen Dave? There ain't been no one here by that name. Dave Liggett, huh? Yes. He seemed to think he had an answer to these strange murders. Great Scott. Maybe it's the kid. What sort of looking kid? Thin and pale he's and... He's only don't... 16, but he looks even younger. Toe-headed? Have you seen him? Thunderation. That's the Kansas kid. <laughs> and we thought he was in cahoots with the killers. Where is he now? You've seen him then? Yeah, he's handcuffed to the hitch rack. He come here with big ideas, and we figured he was in with the killers. He acted peculiar-like. He was bound and determined to drive a stage. Or work for me here, something or other. We catched him snooping in my books. Oh, John, what can we do with him? I'll go get him. I... Hey, Sheriff, talk hell. Come fast. There's a masked man and injured. Where? Hey, your prisoner. Oh, boy. Get him. We want them to. Get him. Dave. Dave. We got him on the horse with the masked man. I'll stop him this time. Hey, don't shoot. He might hit David. Come on. There they go again. I seen him loosen the handcuffs. That settles it. I'm going to get to the bottom of things if I have to jail everyone around here. I couldn't have stopped them, Sheriff. It's all right, Meekin. There wasn't nothing you could do. Great golly. What with another pair of men gone, a new arrivals, and that funny acting kid. Hold on, Meekin. How do you know he was funny acting? Huh? You ain't had nothing to do with him. How do you know he was funny acting? Uh, well, I... You have been snooping around this office while he was here, ain't you? I didn't mean no harm, Sheriff. Honest, I was... Get inside there. You too, Liggett. Your wife with you. What are you going to do about the kid, Sheriff? Get me in there. Call him a posse. My boy's in the hands of that masked man. Do something, Sheriff. Find David Paul. I says get inside. Maybe the kid is working for killers. Maybe you work with him. Maybe you lied about the trip here. Maybe you killed them guards and drivers. That's not true. How dare you say such things? I dare say what I blame, please. Now sit down. I'm asking plenty more questions. You sat there, Meekin. I didn't mean no harm, Sheriff. All that I'd done was to get where I could hear what the kid was saying. He looked so odd... Sit I... down and shut your mouth. You sit there, Liggett, and your wife next to you. Sawtell? Yeah? Go get all my deputies and tell them we're running things with a high hand around this town till we find out about the Liggetts and the kid and the engine and the mask man. Maybe then we'll know how men can die so sudden. Ben Sawtell and Sheriff Beardsley suspected that young David Liggett, who called himself the Kansas Kid, knew more than he wished to tell of the murders. The Lone Ranger believed that David would be willing to help solve the mystery. He rescued the boy and carried him to his camp. We see the masked man as he dismounts. You'll be taken care of here, Dave, better than you would in prison. You'd have gone there because the sheriff thought you were helping me. I... I reckon so. I'm glad you told me your real name while we were riding. I... I don't know what it is, mister, but but in spite of your mask, there's something about you. I I can trust you, can't I? Yes, Dave, you can. I noted it. The Indian, too. Tato's my best friend. What you come here for? I, well, I, I didn't dare to mention what I know to the sheriff or to Mr. Sawtell. Why? Well, well, well you see, the, the killer might be one of them. If that is the case, then, then they just arranged for me to die sudden-like and, and the killing would go on. That's good straight thinking, Dave. I didn't dare to tell Ma and Pa about what I thought because they'd say, well, <laughs> well, well, they'd say I was too young to mix into things of the sort. Dave, just what do you suspect? Well, well, you see, Pa runs the store over at Pine Center. Yes. And I tend counter sometimes and, and three times a certain man's come in and bought things. I seen him around Calhoun... And he's one of the critters, I suspect. Yes? Look here. If I tell you the whole thing, will you... Will you take the chance of stringing along with me and just seeing if I'm right? Tell me, Dave. No matter how loco it sounds. Just tell me and we'll see. Tonto and I came here to try and put an end to murder and robbery. If you have any idea how these stage drivers die, tell us. I will.
The Lone Ranger and Tonto listened as Dave Liggett told his story, then formed certain plans. It was several days before these plans could be put into action. And meanwhile, Sheriff Beardsley and his men searched the vicinity for the masked man and his companions. The deputies hunted far and wide, but each morning they returned to the parents of David Liggett with the same report. Not a thing new. I'm downright sorry, folks. But he must be around here someplace, Sheriff. He couldn't simply drop out of sight. He's being kept in hiding by that masked man. It's the only way I can figure it out. Howdy, Mr. and Mrs. Liggett. Oh, good, good morning. morning. Sheriff, the, the next stage is coming through today. I know it, Ben. I made arrangements like we talked of. Got men all along the trail at intervals? Yep. I had to drop the hunt for the kid to do it. But I sent the men out to their posts. Have enough men? I swore in a few extra ones. Good enough. Ain't found no trace of the kid, have you? Nope. Seen Meekin around? Yeah, he's one of the new deputies. Oh, I wondered well, what he was this time. That coyote gets liquored and falls asleep somewhere in the woods ever so often. Takes too darn many days off. I'd fire him if I was you, Sawtell. I would, only I'm too short-handed already. Snooping in your office window like he done. Isn't there something we can do to find Dave? Can't we call out some army men or something? Well, after the stage comes through, I'll put all my men out hunting him again, Mr. Leggett. That's all we can do. Oh, who's the oh, That voice. That's the mask man. There he is! Stand where you are! No, it's life and death, and you've got to listen to me. You're under arrest. Don't waste time and talk. Come on and follow me. Where's my boy? What have you done with Dave? Your boy's all right, but he might not be if you don't come with me, Sheriff. But I... Along you. the stage trail toward the east. It's another trick of some sort. It isn't. Bring some men and come. My men are scattered all along the trail. Pick them up as you ride. And they're all looking for you and my son. In that case, they may follow me. Even if the sheriff won't help solve the mystery. Wait, wait a minute. Come on, follow me. The Lone Ranger shouted for the sheriff to follow him, then wheeled Silver about and raced out of town to meet the westbound stage. When he passed the first of the deputies along the way, he called to them as Silver thundered by. Come on! Follow me! That's the masked man, the one we're hunting. Get right! Get up there! The great horse Silver continued his wild dash eastward while the deputies tried to follow. Far ahead, Dave Lickett and Tonto held three men at bay with drawn guns. Two of the men are the driver and guard of the westbound stage. The third is Jake Meekin, the new deputy. It's just a matter of time when these two will have to let us go. Just so, guard. If the stage don't get to Calhoun on time, the rest of your deputies will ride out to meet it, won't they? Sure they will. Then they'll make this redskin and kid tell how they've been killing everyone. We ain't the killers. You'll find out soon enough. Look here, kid. You leave the three of us go, and we'll give you a chance to get away. No. Well, at least give us a drink of water from that hole. My throat's parched. I ain't had a drink since my canteen went dry a while after we left Pine River. You'll not take a drink. If you're going to kill us in that mysterious way you had, why don't you do it and get it over with? We ain't the killers. And, and you'll know it, Meekin. You'll swing for murder when my pards get here. I want a drink. Well, the least you can do is let us have some water. No, no. You can't touch it. When I say go, we'll jump them. It's our only chance. What are you saying, Meekin? Go. Look out. Get up. You, you not touch water. Ah. Now hold them. Hold them till we get ropes. Oh. Never mind the ropes. Just drill them. It's a doggone good idea. Let me up. Let me up. Listen to me. I'm here to help you. We ain't the killers. No, we got them at last. Six murders for him to tell about. Shoot them. Shoot the two of them. There comes a third. We got a fight, driver. Get your gun from the redskin. I'll shoot them. I'll fix them. Get them, them white fellas. Look out, get the horse. That engine's horse. Look out. He'll get you. Stand up, the three of you. Drop that gun, Meekin. I'll show you. Oh, my hand. I got my gun again. I'll keep him covered. Now keep your hands up till the lawmen get here. And then you'll all learn the truth. 
keep them all covered. Stand back. All of you hide your hands. You got them, boys, huh? Good work. What's happened? What's happened here? Be quiet and let Dave Liggett tell his story. Mr. Sawtell, will you listen now? Go on, talk. Well, that fellow Meekin, he come into Pa's store a few times, and, and he bought a certain thing that I, well, I wondered a lot about. Well, what was it? Poison. A kind that's used for killing crop-destroying bugs. It don't hurt cattle none, but but it's poison for a man. Oh, the kid lies. He put it in that water hole. And, and when the guards and drivers would drink there, they'd get poison before they got to Calhoun. Then Meekin would stop the horses, loot the stage, and send the horses on again. That ain't so. That ain't true. Sheriff, for proof, have Meekin drink the water. What about that, Meekin? Them's the two that poisoned it. That engine and the kid. Hold on, Meekin. If that's true... Why ain't they let us drink the water? They blame near got killed for trying to keep us from drinking. The poison lasts only a short time, then the water clears itself. Try it, Meekin. Here, take a good big drink. No, no. Sheriff, Ben, help me. Why, Don Meekin, you've been missing for a few days every time a stage was robbed. You said you'd got too much to drink, but that was just a lie to cover up. I see it now. I think you'll find the stolen loot in Meekin's home. Meekin? You're going to drink that water. No, no. Don't make me. We'll pour it down your throat. Don't. Don't. I, I confess. I, I done it. I, I'm the killer. Gosh. Look here, kid. How do you know so much? Well, I, I just had a hunch, and when the masked man got to listening, he figured it was a good hunch. So me and the Indian, Tonto, come here. <sighs> That's all. Son, if your folks is willing... You got a job on the stage line. Gosh, thanks. Reason the last stage wasn't looted, I suppose, was on account of the passengers carried water for the trip with them and didn't drink from this hole. Well, Meekin, you dirty rat. I, I got a right to a trial. I got a right to tell my story. I'll Mysterious tell... Mysterious murders. Huh? Why, drat you, I can see through you as plain as day now. Come on and see what hanging's like. Oh! The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.